Answer is a xenophobic, borderline racist, or you could honestly call her a racist. Um, but, uh, you know, she was one of Trump's earliest supporters. She wrote a whole book on Trump called In Trump We Trust, which I think looks like probably the biggest mistake for Ann Coulter. Um, but I'm sure she made a lot of money off of it. So, uh, there was a story about how Trump and Nancy Pelosi and I believe Schumer had uh, made some compromises when it comes to DACA. Now, um, this is something that I don't really believe, um, but he sent out this tweet. He said, he, he was basically talking about um, the Dreamers, right? He says, um, they have been in our country for many years through no faults of their own, brought in by parents at young age, plus big border security. So, um, that's pretty simple logic, right? I mean, you say, you know, the their child, they they came as children. Um, they know nothing of their previous country that you'd there be deporting them to. You'd um, be endangering their lives and of course splitting up their family. Um, and it's just a horrible thing. And you know, DACA is like probably the most, um, I would say, moderate immigration policy you could implement. And Coulter, she just completely flipped out, which I mean, something to expect in this case, right? Because um, of course, you know, she's a one-issue voter, and that one issue is immigration. And her whole thing was his wall, his wall, as many supporters wanted, was the wall. Now, she said, um, at this point, who doesn't want Trump impeached? So, this is kind of showing something interesting to me, because, you know, a lot of his campaign, the, the main group of supporters were people who are xenophobic and who are racist and different things like that. Um, and it, their whole thing was building the wall. That was their main thing. Now, this is kind of simple, symbolizing for me the loss of, due to his presidential position and having to make some compromises, um, it's signifying to me that he is losing his base and the same people who oppose him right now will continue to oppose him. So Donald Trump is going to be taking another probably pretty big hit in the polls eventually, pretty soon. But Ann Coulter snaps on Trump. Support independent progressive media by leaving a subscription down below. Leave a like and share the video. Help us out on Patreon or you can donate in other ways. Links are in the description down below. We are fighting Trump tooth and nail and we will continue to do so with your help.